I'm sitting in a slightly different way than I normally do on the couch. Not exactly sure why. I've already moisturized my face. I tried out one of these pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundations yesterday, but I don't remember which one. I think I had five shades yesterday when I was watching them, but now I have six. So one of my other ones did show up. Okay, no DP in six wasn't it. Okay, DPP1, DPP2, DPN3, DPN4, and DPP4. I'm sure it's too deep. So that's them slightly blended out. I swear DPP1 looks darker than DPP2 to me. Um, I guess we'll go with three. I can't remember if that's what I went with yesterday if I went with something else. So I will use my Laura Geller Spackle Mattifying Primer. I use that on half my face. Let's do a high end and a really low end. <laughs> and then we'll use the Clean Color Selfie Perfect Mattifying Primer on the other side. This is the Eye Appeal Eye Shadow Base by Black Radiance. This is the one called Shut Eye. I'm gonna use that today for the first time. But I've swatched it, but I haven't worn it yet. Okay, that one's not as easy to get even. I've got way more on this side than I do on that side. I also think I used way too much. I'm also not sure how I feel about having it go dark all the way up to my brows. That is still pretty messy, but I'm also gonna be putting on foundation and concealer, so I'm not too worried about it. So I've got the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation and the trial size. I'm so proud of myself. I actually wet my sponge today. I think this is one of the ones I got from Always May, Always Me, Always My, whatever or JB Needs, it's one of those dollar places. It doesn't break down in the wash or with my heavy handedness. Okay, so I definitely think this shade is pretty good matching my face to my face, but that is not enough coverage. But let me do this side, put some on first, and then I'll go back over and put some more on the neglected areas. Was there better coverage yesterday? I thought there was. I'm not gonna stop recording until I can check my phone to see what my last recording says. If I end up buying this foundation in a full size, I'll probably do another wear test just because getting it out of here and using the applicator instead of like a pump is, I don't know, to me different and it can, might be making a difference in how much coverage I have. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but I can see like all my little spots. So I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer. I have the shade 7. I probably should have gotten the shade 8. I already know this, but what you going to do? Or maybe not. I'm not using it to highlight. I'm just using it to conceal. Those are mainly the only ones I'm worried about. Maybe the coverage issue is actually the sponge. I like the way the sponge feels, but maybe it's just picking up more than it should. It does give a nice finish, but I think it takes away a little bit from the coverage. For highlight today, I'm gonna try this AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Warm Sand. I bought it because I thought it would be close to my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Sand, but not. Nah. Unless it looks different when it comes out of the tube. Oh no, that's light. You know, I wanted to set up, check out that, um, trying out a new highlighting setting powder. But I think this is so light that it would skew the results. Yeah, let's mix that with something deeper. Okay, so this is that NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Deep Walnut. It's too deep for me to use as a regular concealing shade, but not deep enough to use as contour. Okay, so that one AOA concealer, the Wonder Cover in the shade Warm Sand, not a good one. Not for me, too light, too light, too light. And it also doesn't mix well with the can't stop, won't stop, so blending it out was a little bit hard. This is the AOA Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Warm that I decided is too light for my whole face, but I think it'll work for setting my highlight. Yesterday, all I did was swatch it. Oh yeah, that is definitely not something I could have used on my whole face. It looks really dark on their website. I kind of figured it wasn't, but I did think it was deeper than this. It was only a dollar. 
And when I'm done using this powder, I'll still have the container, which to me is worth a dollar on its own. I can't make a determination on whether or not the powder is worth a dollar yet. It better be though, because if it's not worth a dollar, that's sad. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. Well, since my eyes are already kind of dark, let's go with J-Cat Vanity Goddess Chromatic Pigment in the shade Cheeky Arrogance. I think I've maybe worn this once or twice, but not with the sleek pigment transformer, which is I'm gonna use it with today. I'm gonna brush a little bit out here on my palette. It's probably way too much. Now I've got the sleek pigment transformer glossing mixing medium. This will be my second time trying it. Oh, that looks really pretty. That is not even purple anymore, which is kind of weird. I mean, it is purple, but not, not as deep as this. Okay, it slides on a lot easier and nicer, the glossy medium does, with this um, pigment than it did with the Power Up I used yesterday. Before it dries out completely, I'm just going to put the little edges there like that. I'll let that sit for a moment. I'm just going to go throughout this bag of lip glosses. These aren't all new, but I think there are some new ones in here. Let's see if there's anything new that I want to wear today. I was watching a video by Tina Young a couple of weeks or month or so ago, and she had mentioned how many lip glosses she had, and I counted I had 110. Some of them I need to get rid of, but some of these are still brand new. So I'm looking to see what I have. And I'm not really a fan of any of those for today. Um, I'm gonna line my lips using BFF4. This is the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration lip liner. It's still wet. I didn't want to really put on my lip color just yet because I want to be able to dust off this powder and not make a mess of it. But I don't want to dust off the powder because I'm not done with my eyes. Well, I have this white eyeliner from Coastal Sense called Express Line. I think you can actually use them all over your whole face. I'm going to use that in my waterline for no other reason other than the fact that I'm trying to do something with my time while I wait for this eyeshadow to dry up here. Okay, this is like way too creamy to use as an eyeliner, at least under waterline, because it's like gumming up my lashes. Okay, I really need to get something else done with these eyes though, because right now that's just a lot. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Pressed Pigment in the shade Birthday Treat. It says it is not for use around the eye area. I'm going to use it up high, so hopefully it won't be a problem, but Kind of somewhat deharshes the area. I don't know what else I was gonna to do to my eyes though. And I wanted that black base, which I'm not gonna use again for my full eyelid. I like this pigment stuff. Ah, oh, it is still wet. Okay, so I've got this loose eyeshadow pigment from Furless. So the color is Sneaky. I'm gonna use that in my crease. It's nice purpley. Now I got it down. I'm gonna use a little fluffy brush, blend it out. And I know this kind of defeats the whole purpose of using the mixing medium, but I can't deal with my eyelids being this wet still. So I'm going in with that same brush that I used for this purple, but I'm going to go into the, the one that I mixed with the pigment, and I'm just going to pat some of that on those wet areas. I know it's a loose powder, but it doesn't really want to stay on the brush. But that's kind of one of the reasons why I was like, hey, let's try that one with that pigment mixer. This is just so messy, but it's so pretty. I'm going to go back over that with this fluffy brush that I wiped off. I just merge my crease and lid color together a little more. Believe it or 
or not, I'm actually a big fan of precision. The problem is I'm not good at being precise, so I just like to blend the crap out of things so you can't actually tell whether I'm coming or going. And before I dust off my bake, I'm going to use a fallout brush since I don't want that pigment to just smear all over my face. Okay, now I'll brush off my bake. There's something about that powder, I'm not sure. I don't think it works for setting my highlight either. I feel like it also gives me a little bit of a grayish cast that I'm not fond of. It also accentuates my fuzz. I swear, the older I get, the faster the hair on my face grows. Yeah, actually, this looks really textured today, too. This didn't look as textured yesterday, so I'm not sure if it's the concealer or that powder. We'll just try the powder again another time with a different concealer. I don't know why, but I hate wasting things, so since I still have that... Oh, sorry about all the glitter. My fan's blown. <laughs> since I have that mixing medium with the eyeshadow pigment, I have that left over in there. I just dumped some Clean Color Loose Pigment in the shade Frosted Parfait on there. I'm going to make a very light eyeliner. Looks like it just that frosted parfait just disappears into it like it never even existed. I'm gonna mix in some frosted mint. Maybe since it's green it will show up. Oh, forgot. Fans over there. And now I think it's a little too pasty. Yeah, that does nothing. At least the eyeliner part is wet again. I'm just throwing random crap on my face at this point. I apologize. I'm going to use this Rockin' the Night Sparkling Powder Eyeshadow and pat it on those wet spots. So I was really just trying to get this on like the eyeliner areas and it looks like it got into my lashes. I'm sure not all that's gonna stick, especially since I'm about to brush some of that mess out. So I really was just trying to do like a green sparkly eyeliner thing. I've got, I'm gonna use the DPN6 to contour. Well, that concealer blends out nicely. I'm gonna throw on some blush by Clean Color in the shade Plum, just because I don't have a new blush to try. What else do I want to do to my face? I already did my lip liner. Oh, yeah, we have these two Zuri Flawless powders, and this was a shade New Eat. I can't remember if we decided this one was too deep or not. Even though we swatched this yesterday, we did not wear it. So let's do. Yeah, no, I think this powder, yeah, it's a little dark. But just a little, so whatever. It's fine. Oh, I have a new mascara I can try out. Beauty Reflection Diamond Mascara Clear and Ultra. Not even sure what that means. Clear and Ultra. I don't know, I think I might have to try that again on a day when I don't have glitter everywhere already. Because I'm not seeing anything really. Yeah, it does seem to like to stick to my lashes, but it does like to stick to itself. I think I got all the clumps. I guess it did, did leave some reflective particles because every now and then when I blink, I see a little light reflective thingy that's kind of annoying. So I don't know if I like that for my eyelashes, but even though it doesn't say on this thing when I bought it, I do remember I bought this. Just be able to use it for your brows too. I think I got more makeup on the wand than I got mascara in the brow. I'm wipe, so I'm wiping off the little wandy deal. Okay, and then I'm going to use my brow comb. Yeah, I can see. I see sparkles up here where I didn't put it, but I don't really see them on my brows. Oh, that is a little bit. I don't know. I might use that again for my brows, but I don't think I'm going to use that as a mascara. No, yeah, it's a mascara again. I guess that's really all I need to do to my face. So let me just go ahead and set. Still using the Ben Nye Neutral Set because I don't need to put any more RCMA No Color Powder in this dish since I've already got the Neutral Set in there. Oh man! I probably should use the brow mascara after the powder. It's like that brow came out of it unscathed. That one got all the dust. And the lashes too. I forgot about the lashes. I'm gonna spray with my rose water. Oh, that is chillin'. Put something on my lips. I got this NYX Lip Tease Full Color Lip Oil in the shade Sugar Overload. 
this set with my Urban Decay D Slick. I'm not gonna do anything with highlight because or highlighter. Ooh, I started my foundation at two. So I'll try to check in. I'll at least do four hours, but I'll try to do eight as well. We'll see. Hi. Okay, so the time is 7.05. So that means it's been five hours since I started my makeup. Primer has behaved on both sides. I haven't had any breakthrough, any separation. I haven't noticed any transfer, but I also haven't been touching my face, except for you can see my lipstick is kind of gone because I've been eating, because, well, eating is life. I think either the powder or the foundation might be slightly too deep. It's still, like, you know, I stopped my makeup here, so it still matches with, you know, this part of my neck. At least as I can tell from the lighting. If I was completely covered, I don't think it would be, you know, as obvious. So that um, brow gel I put in is pretty much all gone. There's like a few flecks of glitter here and there. And then also, I don't know, I think it made my brows look bushier, even though I, you know, combed them all nicely and everything. I don't ignore my hands, I've got skin issues. And I do like the Sleek Pigment Transformer Glossing Mixing Medium better today with the um, J-Cat pigment than I did with the ColourPop pigment that I used yesterday. I know I used too much of this today, but I think I used way too much yesterday. So it might just be that or it might just be, you know, certain pigments play better with it than others. I'm also going to try this at some point with some, you know, straight pigments without any glitter or sparkly thingies in them. I'm going to make sure I use a lot less. I'm so heavy-handed. I guess maybe tomorrow... If there's still enough left in my sample, I will try the foundation again with my regular powder and do a wear test. And then I also just gotta figure out the powder I use to set my highlight. I need to try it with a different concealer. But that concealer actually, no, let me toss that right now. Yeah, that was the Warm Sand from AOA. I like AOA concealers. They are my absolute favorite, I mean, I've got a crap ton, but that shade, no, 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 no. Actually, I don't think I like that consistency for highlighting anyway. I like it for concealing because it like usually it stays in place better, but it's not as smooth and creamy for highlighting. So it works good as a concealer, which is good because it's a concealer. But for highlighting, it's just, it's a, maybe a little bit too drying or pasty might be a better term I don't know well that eye peel eyeshadow base I really do think I like it I just think that I need to use a brush with this one because I don't want the black going all the way up I don't know I think that's everything I don't think I'm gonna check in again at eight hours I'm just not feeling it it's like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and knowing me I'm gonna fall asleep before that I'll probably wake up again because that's what I do but for now while I'm still upright foundation is decent. The Zuri Flawless Powder in the shade Nuit. I do want to try the Tinder Brown for setting my highlight. But I think the Nuit is more like a very, very subtle contoury shade based on how it looks all over my face. I'm thinking in the future I'm going to have a more structured setup. Like if I get a new foundation, I'll test it like for a few days in a row with different primers and keep everything else the same. And if I have a new primer, I will test that with different foundations that I'm used to using. And I might think of a plan for concealers too, but basically every day I'm just kind of winging it. I sit down, I'm like, what do I want to do? Sometimes I want to record, sometimes I don't. Sometimes even when I'm recording, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm about to do. I just do it. So yeah, there's no plan. I just kind of start going through me like that. I have a top shelf here where like I've got most of my foundations, most of my concealing concealers, as in not highlighting concealers, some liquid eyeshadows and some eyeliners and some brushes, eye primers. There's like random crap up there along with my moisturizer and my rose water and down on this level I have a crap ton of primers darkening drops and other color correctors 
crap ton of eye primers. You can also have them up there. There's also little pot gel eyeliners up there. There are a few little jar eyeshadows down here, along with a couple blushes and some highlighters. But then I've also got all my eyeshadow palettes over there with blushes that I can put in a palette over there. I've got some liquid eyeshadows over there with some more concealers and foundation. I've got all my lip pencils in here. I've got powders in here, crap ton of brushes, other foundations. I don't know why those got separated out the way they did. Spare sponges. Whoa, actually way more foundations. Apparently all of my single eyeshadows, like, like these ones that, you know, that I can't put into one of my little palettes. I forgot I had this so cute. I'll be wearing that again soon. All my highlighting concealers are in this drawer. A lot of my lip colors are in this drawer. A lot of my pigments are in this drawer. So I like Apparently I have more primers in there. Those primers go over here. I have some more highlighters in here. Crap time. I mean, I just, it's random. Random, random, random. And then like for my powders that I use, like containers are usually in this drawer. This one below is where I keep where I keep the jars I use to refill them. Like, you know, I got so like, cause I, I like to use the jars. Oh, I forgot I had this one too and I needed a, this is the deep dark from Revolution. I need to do a wear on that. So in there. I have no idea why I'm telling you all this stuff. And then, oh, I've also got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundations down here. I really like them, but I don't like using them because I have to mix shades, even though they have so many. And this is a 12 month formula, so I really need to use more because if I remember correctly, I bought these in September and October. Oh, and then apparently I have a whole bunch of other primers. Yeah, these are backups because I've got like an Ultimate Prime up there. This is a poreless Ulta, I've got that one. This is a color correcting primer, so I don't need to keep that up there. This is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. I have some blurring primers up there, but this one has sparklies in it, so I need to check that out. I have another color correcting primer in purple. When I wasn't kidding when I said I like the um, AOA Wonder Cover Concealer. There's just a few. I bought another warm sand. So, yeah, so these are, these are all cocoa. So that's my base shade. This one is espresso, which I use to highlight. Oh, that's really weird. This one, is also 2327, which is what all of these ones are, but this one says dark cocoa instead of cocoa. So these are all cocoa. Until I don't like running out of things. I've got another ColourPop Deep Dark 56, because these, these are the ones I use the most, because these are what I use for all my spots and everything. Then I've got Deep Cool from Ulta. This one. I thought would be my shade, but it's not. I still buy it though because it actually works well as a highlighter. Oh, and I just found another one of these. Coco. Okay, so I'm not buying any more concealer for a while. Yeah, I still have a lot of things that I still do. Don't I? Yeah. yeah. I'm like so easily distracted. I cannot remember why I'm going through this and telling y'all about this. Another Coco concealer. Another Coco concealer. I know one of the reasons I'm looking through this area is because I like to try and keep all my little eyeshadow primers together because they're so small. Because I have like six of these. This is the Amuse eyeshadow base, which I absolutely adore. I have like six of them. Well, maybe five. Because, yeah, I gave one to a coworker last week because I, she needed a primer to try, and I was like, dude, try this stuff. I love, I love this. But I have one open, two here. That's three. So I have two missing in this drawer, but I also keep like, you know, my medications in here. I have a lot of issues. So I don't want to bring my bottles with me, so I put everything in this cute little case. Yes, it's green. So I keep the bottles down here. And then other things that I don't use as often, like the green color correcting powder, it comes in handy. So I do keep it. You know, if my life wasn't such a mess, I'd do one of those things where people are like, you know, show, let me show you my beauty room. I don't have a beauty room, but I was like, let you show, let me show you my makeup cart, but no. No. Because I can see it now. People are like, you should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm like, how do you know I'm not? 
yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for here. But I wasn't kidding or exaggerating when I said that I kept finding more of those Wonder Cover concealers. Because I kept moving them all over, so now I have them all in the same space. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed to buy any more. Any more. Because I think I'm set for life. Or at least a few years. I have no idea what my problem is. Yeah, I have 10 of these. Oh, actually, I just moved this out of my way. I don't even know what's in here. Oh. Uh, these are all my unopened mascaras. And I mean, like, seriously unopened. Like, the brush isn't even in them yet. Got one from Ico. I don't know. I get a lot of free mascaras, but then when I need to go use them, I can't find them. So then I do buy some. And those are just my black mascaras. I know I have, oh, you know what? If they're in the gold bag, that means in my other tacky gold bag, I probably have clear mascaras. I have a problem. Why, I don't know why I'm sharing all this. If I decide to post this, please don't judge, but feel free, if you have a suggestion as to understanding why I'm doing this, feel free to tell me, because I don't know. I don't think it's a cry for help, but it might be. Um, oh. What I've said before that I really, really love the Ulta Lip Primer, even though I know I've said, you know, I complained that, you know, I didn't want to open up a new one, but then I said I had more. I wasn't lying about that either. Actually, these are the Ulta Lip Primers that I like. This one is the Clear Plumping Primer. I don't like this one as much. When you go to squeeze it out, it has like little holes and it's supposed to come out the hole, but instead the little thing that's supposed to come out comes off and it's everywhere. If there's ever an apocalypse of some sort and people need to look good for a night, they can tra trade me food for makeup because I've got the makeup. I've got enough. I mean, I know they're not necessities and food is, but you never know. Sometimes I have some weird priorities when it comes to things. I think I'm looking for something and I'm just talking to y'all because my family's been camping all weekend and I'm lonely. My cat's right over here standing at me like I'm crazy. Okay, whatever. I need to stop it. Okay, if the lights change, my cat is now right in front of my lamp. Other than foundation, I really shouldn't need anything. The only reason I need to keep buying foundation is because I'm still always just looking for, you know, more options. Like, I want to find a good match, of course. But then I also want, um, you know, different brands to have those options in case, you know, like things get discontinued. So it's like to, nice to have different options in different categories. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Goodbye.